Welcome back to It's a Grim Life. Does that door knocker behind me look familiar? If you have guessed that it's from the movie Labyrinth, you would be correct because today I am here in the new Center for the Puppetry Arts Jim Henson exhibit. It is the biggest collection of Jim Henson Muppets and Muppets and Puppets and stop motion characters from around the world and it is all here in Atlanta, Georgia. The Center for Puppetry Arts holds the biggest, largest, most awesome collection of Jim Henson puppets and other puppets from around the world, as well as movie puppets and stop motion characters. And today, I found myself walking the halls of this museum. Now, it is pretty awesome, and if you are a fan of the Muppets, Kermit the Frog, Miss Piggy, Jim Henson, you would love this museum. And this weekend, Amy and I are going to be doing a main video on this place. But today, I wanted to take you through the labyrinth and the dark crystal exhibit. Now, as you can see behind me is a labyrinth. It's painted on the wall, but they actually have real props from the movie here, like the door knocker that's behind me. This was actually used in the movie Labyrinth. How pretty cool is that? Now, if you think that is cool, wait until you check this out. One of my favorite characters from Labyrinth, Sir Didymus. Minus the dog, of course. The dog was a real dog, but Sir Didymus was a puppet. Look at that detail. It's pretty awesome. And over here next to him is one of the cannonballs from the movie. And over here we have Ralph and Alf. Or is it Alf and Ralph? Either way, one of them lies and one of them tells the truth. Do you know which one lies? Which one tells the truth? If so, you might be able to escape certain death. The bog of eternal stench. It's pretty freaking awesome. And over this way, as you can see in the background, are some actual Muppets and Fraggle Rocks over that way, but that's coming this weekend. There's a little bit about the movie playing at Labyrinth. There's some artwork. When we first came up with another side of Ralph and Alf. Liars! <laughs> Check it out. That is really, really cool. And then right next to it is the Dark Crystal exhibit. And I'm trying to keep out the Fraggle stuff, the Muppet stuff, because that's going to be for later on. But here is Gartham from the movie Dark Crystal. I mean, for a puppet, for a creation, for a movie, that is pretty spot on. I know you can see my camera and the glass. But look at that. And over here, and I'm sorry for Dark Crystal fans if I mispronounce her name, but here is Agra. Check her out. Look at the detail in the dress alone. Pretty crazy. And once again, more stuff about the actual uh, movie. There's Jim Henson on the screen right now. You really can't see him because of how I have the white balance on my camera set up. Uh, pod people, musical instruments. There's a toad. There's a feather cricket. That little feather cricket is cute. And a green hedgehog. The best part, the best part about the labyrinth the labyrinth is over there this is the dark crystal is Jen 
So here are two small, very small parts of the the puppet museum here that it is brand new. The Center for the Puppetry Arts completely redid the wing and it is absolutely beautiful. Now, I haven't seen it the way that it was before, but if it's anything different than right now, it's, I can't even imagine because this is absolutely beautiful. This is absolutely perfect. There is so much more to see, so many puppets and from all over the world and from the Muppet Show and Muppet Treasure Island and Fraggle Rock and we're gonna take a look at all that this weekend. But for now, Sir Didymus and I bid you farewell and thank you for watching another daily episode of It's a Grim Life. See you this weekend. Stay grim, people. Call me a calamity man But I'm trying as hard as I can To keep a bad luck away from me I'm doomed to win the die Filled with misery